Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla. If you are new to this channel, please like this video and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. We made it to 2,000 subscribers, so I'm super excited for that. But today's video is going to be about 10 reasons why your skin might be breaking out. So if you're having troubles with acne or your skin in general, then just keep watching this video for more tips. I just want to throw in a quick disclaimer. I am not a licensed medical doctor or anything like that. I am an esthetician here in Minneapolis. Research skincare on my own and learned it through my license and I am going back to school to get my advanced practice. So which is more medical um, grade and everything like that. So I just want to throw that in there and I hope you like the video. Okay. So the first one is you don't moisturize enough. I feel like so many people when they come and see me, they're like, I don't like moisturizer, it breaks me out, blah, blah, blah. You need to make sure you're moisturizing your skin because otherwise your skin is gonna start to produce more oils because it thinks it needs hydration. Um, your skin is gonna be over dehydrated. It's gonna look a little bit more crepey if you're noticing when you're wearing makeup and it just looks dry. It's because you need moisturizer. Even oily people get a lightweight moisturizer, get a gel moisturizer. There's tons of options at the drugstore or high end. Um, and if I can find any, I'll put some on the screen that I really like. You don't moisturize, this can lead to your skin producing more oils and then clogging your pores, creating more acne. So it's kind of the opposite effect. So I know that's like a big thing that a lot of people think that moisturizer is gonna break them out and you're more likely to break out if you don't wear moisturizer. The second thing is over exfoliating. This can cause your skin to be sore, inflamed, um, red. So don't over exfoliate your face. Personally, I exfoliate only about two times a week um, with a physical exfoliant, which is something with the little beads in there. Um, and also if you have inflamed acne or acne in general, like pustules and stuff, do not use a physical exfoliant. I would switch to a chemical exfoliant, which is an AHA, BHA, or a glycolic. Um, you can get that in a serum form or a face wash. I have a couple of favorites that I use. The Papaya Enzyme Cleanser from Revision is amazing. And it's a, I think it's just, it either has AHA or it's just an enzyme that it naturally just helps exfoliate the skin. Um, if you are over exfoliating, then you are just sloughing off too many layers of skin and you kind of need those layers to keep your skin nice and healthy and protected. Right. Three is that you're doing too much to your skin. Stick to a skincare routine for at least six weeks or if you're using a product from a dermatologist, I would say at least like three months. If you're using like a retinol, Differin, um, Epiduo or something like that. Um, personally, I kind of stick to the same skincare regimen. If I notice I'm getting results, I stick to it, but it's nice to switch it up once in a while. Um, but don't switch it up all the time. Your skin is going to get confused and kind of angry at you if you're using too many products too. Number four is your shampoo and conditioner. If it has a lot of oils in it, it can tend to break out, especially your hairline, or if it gets on your face, obviously when you're, when you're washing your hair, um, it can cause you to break out. I noticed this with a lot of more natural products. It breaks out my shoulders and right here. Um, so whenever that happens, I use the Clean and Clear Body Wash and I feel like that helps my body acne to kind of clear it up a little bit because it has some salicylic acid in it. But if you are needing a shampoo that is oil free, I'm sure there's a ton at the drugstore, but just try to look out for that because um, I know a lot of people can be sensitive to those products. Number five is your pillowcase. And I know a lot of people forget about this, but your pillowcase holds so much bacteria. Um, your face is on it every single night. And so when you're sleeping on your pillow and you don't change it, that bacteria is just laying there and it's getting all over your skin. So try to change your pillowcase. I know it's kind of hard, but I do mine at least once a week um, just to kind of help. And I've noticed a big difference actually in just changing my pillowcase. So that is a really good tip that I think a lot of people forget. Number six is a sunscreen. So yes, you should always be using sunscreen, especially if you're using a retinol or AHA, BHA exfoliants. So with sunscreen, a lot of people can break out because they're too heavy or greasy for people. Like myself, I'm terrified of sunscreens because I always break out from them. So for me, I would look for one that's not greasy, 
more lightweight and a physical sunscreen. Um, I like the True Physical from Revision and I'll look for some drugstore options that are good as well. Notice you're breaking out when you started to implement the sunscreen into your skincare routine. Just look for a new one. Not all sunscreens will break you out. I'm sure there is a good one out there for you. Number seven is a facial scrubbers. So like the Clarisonic or things like that with a brush head, they can hold so much bacteria. It like kind of freaks me out thinking about it, but you need to make sure you are washing those and sterilizing them properly because if you're not, there's so much bacteria that you're just spreading on your face and it is not good. So I would recommend getting a silicone one um, that won't hold as much bacteria and it's easier to wash or um, only using it about twice a week because if you're over exfoliating your skin with those brushes, it can irritate the crap out of your skin and just your skin will keep purging. I personally have tried those brushes, but they didn't work for me. Um, I don't really like them. I would rather just use my hands or I have a little scrubber I got off Amazon that is the silicone version. Um, but if you do use them, maybe try to use them a couple times a week at night. Don't use them twice a day. I wouldn't use them every day because your skin might get a little bit angry at you and there's so much bacteria in them. <laughs> Number eight is stress. So stress is one of the main causes of acne. Personally for me, I dealt with acne when I was in middle and high school and then in college it kind of cleared up, but then stress is where I get the most acne like so much. I get it like random pimples on my cheeks, forehead, chin, I get it everywhere. A lot of people don't think about their skin when they think of stress, but those hormones and the unbalance really does affect your skin. I notice it. It's a huge thing for me. My skin flares up so bad when I'm stressed and I know we are also stressed right now. I don't have a job. My boyfriend just got laid off too. So I'm really stressed, but I'm trying my best to be as calm and collected as I can. So some tips for that is just taking care of yourself, doing things that make you happy. Um, I sometimes will take a bath and then do a face mask and I feel like that kind of relaxes me and I'm taking care of my skin at the same time. So that's a really great way to de-stress yourself. Also meditation really helps as well. Number nine is your phone. So your phone holds so much bacteria because you are constantly touching it, you're on it, you're holding it to your face, your fingers, whatever. Um, and I know a lot of us take our phones to the bathroom and that just, so much bacteria and I know I'm guilty of it. Wipe down your phone as often as you can or as, as often as you like remember to just because that can harbor bacteria and get on your face and if you're dealing with acne that's one thing that I would try to watch out for. Number 10 is to use skincare that is meant for you. Don't just use skincare because influencers are using it. Don't just use skincare because it's pretty or it's a fad. Like I see so many people using these products and they're cute and they're fun, um, but they have acne prone skin and the ingredients are not great for acne prone skin. So make sure that you are trying to get products that meet the claims that your skin needs. A great website that I use is Cause DNA. I'll put the link on the screen maybe if I can or in the bio. This website, you can type in any products and then they'll tell you what scale it is kind of kind of on the acne or irritant range, which is super helpful and I use it all the time. And um, I would definitely recommend that if you are wanting to try a new product or you wanna research your own skincare that you have at home and see if it actually is good for your skin. That website is seriously a God blessing. When I was going to school at Aveda, my skin was freaked out and I researched all their products and they're not good for acne prone skin. And so I was like, hmm, that's why I'm breaking out. And I was also stressed. But things like that, more natural, like essential oils, they don't have active ingredients in them that are result driven. So for me, those types of products I cannot use, I won't use because for me, it's just not worth it. Even if they're cute, I want products that are gonna make a difference in my skin. So yeah. Okay, and that is all 10 tips that I have for you guys today. If you guys have any video suggestions, definitely leave it in the comments below or any skincare questions, I'd be happy to answer. You can always DM me on my Instagram. My links are always in the bio and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.